<laughs> I haven't seen this film since so I was a wee little boy, unfortunately. This is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check movie review, starting with my cohorts. Krieger. Jokester. And. Stone. And by request of. What? What, me? Yes. This was not my idea. It is now. <laughs> I was told it was your idea. Actually. It was your idea to do the double feature. I wouldn't blame you because this is the greatest Godzilla movie. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Better Back than when Krieger, Krieger and I reviewed Godzilla vs. King Kong. Yeah, I should have done. What? Had the 1998 Godzilla show up and save the day. <laughs> Okay. Because uh, at the end of the 1998 one, um, they had the the sequel bait where they had a bunch of eggs that hatched, and what if there was an army of those it just came out of nowhere? And saved the day. In case you have seen the uh, review, there's some potential uh, hints and rumors that we might be covering another movie that you would like to enjoy. Oh, Chevy Chase. No! You mean the greatest no! uh, Godzilla film of all time? No! We hinted that we would review this movie, or more so, he did. I dreaded this day, and now I want to tear my eyeballs out. We finally have watched and we're ready to review the 1998 version of Godzilla. Gojita. So, you came in the last, like, 30 minutes, so, I mean, you don't have to say too much if you don't want to, but if you would like to put input in, we'll see before. Gojita. Who would like to go first? Well, I know you guys are going to tear the fil film apart, <laughs> so I might as well just say, say your I part and sit, sit down and shut the fuck <laughs> up. Okay, okay, okay. Ford's time. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the CGI and acting was not great, but I felt like this should have been a film that had a sequel. <laughs> I'm a spat cracking everywhere. <laughs> I really like this film. I don't think it's the same as, as the new Godzillas that are from the source material more so. I, I think of it as if, like, Jurassic Park, if they would have went to New York. <laughs> oh, they did! They have did. you seen Jurassic Park, The Lost World? Okay, yeah. I, I mean, if they did it well. Because this was better than Lost World. <laughs> that, I mean, the the T-Rex in The Lost World ate, like, 67 yeah. people. Oh, oh so my did. god! Which is nowhere close to how many people that the Godzilla kills. He ran away nowhere, from them! Nowhere close to as many as the U.S. government. <laughs> You're right. No, the U.S. government straight up murders how many thousands of people. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that everyone was automatically evacuated within an hour of New York City. Which is why that pharmacist is totally just chilling yep. when Matthew Broderick stops by. Yep. Well, you know, other than the, the NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> NPCs are not allowed to leave the shop. Well, I mean, you're is, right. You're right. Is, is this your like heart, like critique of the movie, or is this you trying to be a fan? Well, today is going to be a different day. Today, I'm not going to critique any of these because they're all so bad. So I'm going to give my humble opinion of it, of my rating and then the actual rating. So my rating of it is ten stars. Yep. <laughs> but actual rating. It's like a six. And I think that will probably be the highest rating today. Honestly, I think that an actual rating of six isn't bad. Yeah. I feel like that's probably fairly accurate. Because it's, like, it's it's not like so bad that it's good. It's just kind of not great. But there are some occasional like redeeming qualities to yeah. it. That's what I gave Jason goes to hell. <laughs> See, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. This was a Godzilla movie. Still trying to be Godzilla in a weird fucking way, but it's still Godzilla a tiny bit. Yeah. Well, Jason Goes to Hell wasn't a Jason movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Jason movie! So what I'm saying is, 
that that, that sets the bar. I will not go on this tangent again. Yeah, six is by definition just slightly better than perfectly average. Yeah. Now I don't know that this movie is perfectly average. It made it, 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 made it to the big screen. It's got to at least be so okay. So fucking how <laughs> they greenlit this oh. fucking movie. It had. Famous act, people. But in reality, the acting was really, really, really bad throughout yes. the movie. Yeah. Um, I, I disagreed with you guys. About That's the a lot of fish. <laughs> um, I disagreed with you guys about the CGI. It wasn't great CGI, but I think it was good CGI. Parts of it were reasonable. Let me find another film released in 1998 and compare it for you. Yeah. Talking about the CGI, like the the scene where the the. Helicopters are chasing fucking Godzilla yes. through the the labyrinth of buildings that are all CGI. Before he starts <laughs> upping the, the Empire State Building, and it's the same labyrinth just over and over again, recycled. <laughs> As he's like, left, right turn, left turn, right turn, and then somehow he's mysteriously at the beginning of that Z again. That's because it's kind of like a healing factor. You could he make heals, it it heals the buildings? He heals the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, we're it's time for our favorite segment. Do, 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 science time with Josh. Those cars, when it like snorted, just flew back. Yet they were able to drive right into the snort and be just fine and turn. Oh. Also, those buildings. Physics, okay? It's like buildings, just fine. Bridges. Don't, I, don't fall down. Can I make a quick pause on your science thing and I'll make three words about the buildings? <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh. If those were there for another three years. That's a shame. <laughs> oh. Could have not known that. That's down. a pretty good CGI. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I did hear an article talking about. Uh, nuclear explosions and stuff in the original Godzilla movie, History Time with Josh, um, the original Godzilla movie was made as an anti-nuclear movie and it was Gogeta and Americans did change it to Godzilla and I know that scene's not in this movie but Godzilla it's, it was... Is, it, yeah, it kind it, of is. That's the thing. And like, so it's, it's the idea that this was Japan saying please stop bombing people and America's like yay! Nuclear weapon lizard movies, hooray! Uh, I don't <laughs> think that the the statement that this movie makes about nukes is like pro nukes <laughs> necessarily. It's it just has kind a, of it has like hand a waved away. It's a ten minute scene in the beginning, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's something worth mentioning. How long the goddamn credit scene is at the <laughs> beginning of the movie? And you see the guy just going. <laughs> <laughs> All the shots of the fucking lizards just like going, oh, <laughs> and then the light that comes on. <laughs> there were like five, five shots where it was just random fucking lizards, <laughs> and then the light pops up on it. <laughs> like what? We get to talk about the gumball scene. <laughs> gumballs and basketballs, people. <laughs> basketballs burn for thirty minutes, and gumballs. Don't go flat. Not, not, not only that, but these baby Godzillas were like nine feet tall compared. So, so they're nine feet tall. So you gotta do the weight comparison for that. They're nine yeah. feet tall and they're easily, that big. Easily six hundred pound creatures. Yeah, and they're slipping and sliding on fucking basketballs and gumballs like they're on fucking Antarctic yeah. ice. Yeah, yeah. So, you step on a basketball. It, it like I can goes crush, away. I can crush a gumball with my bare. Like a fucking it stupid is. ass Mario level. <laughs> do we gauge how <laughs> strong? His leg is then? Because in the elevator, he kicked one. Backwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the leg yeah is. Matthew Broderick just like, wah! <laughs> like, uh, no real no real struggle at That's all. That's what you get for being a Bueller. <laughs> okay, okay, can we all admit these guys are new to the planet? They didn't know it. <laughs> They're really powerful. We just, they just didn't I, know. They are, they they are like, just, they it was that like, first day! It they was that like first day! First day on the job! You fucked up, man! They're like, wait, I'm strong? I forgot. <laughs> I was just eating fish over here, and now I can slip around on gumballs! What are these funny looking things of Jason? Look like they could be fun. They're making prey noises. Let's eat them! <laughs> They're born in New York, they got a New York accent. <laughs> And the lack of logic with the romance part. <laughs> oh, jeez. The lack of logic in oh any God. human part. That is the most, that's the one thing that made me hate this movie. Just the whole storyline with the humans. Mm -hmm. There was only one character I liked. And I didn't know what the fuck he was doing until oh, halfway yeah. through the movie when we took our hour-long intermission. <laughs> we realized this movie is two fucking hours! 
The, the recorder guy, the only line I remember him saying that I actually remembered from this movie was, It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll, it'll be, be fun. It'll, it'll be, be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Any more science or history facts, Mr. Josh? No, I about, about, about pulled it all in. On the note of, of the terrible interactions between the human characters, <laughs> like, um, the, the, the fucking red-headed lady, sleep with me! The, the red-headed lady at the beginning of the movie, super horny for, for uh, Matthew Broderick. Super horny for Matthew Broderick. And then she disappears for an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> She's back up for the last 15 minutes so that she can make out with the fat guy. And then get disgusted at that because obviously it's the late 90s and he's a fat guy. little trivia. Uh, so the, the girlfriend of the camera dude. Um, blonde, the blonde girl that was saying all the Audrey is her name in the movie. Audrey. Audrey. Okay. Um. So this was her second to last movie she ever made. Oh, sec <laughs> second to last. Her <laughs> her other one is she waited till two thousand eight and and it was a movie starring Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh <laughs> dear. About a businessman that decides to join a rock band. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. Hey, did you already see it? 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, <laughs> you love to see it, don't you? Really the budget movie. for this was $160 million. $160 million Terrible CGI. in 1998 money. And the, the box office was $529 million. Are you fucking kidding? No, they this made a shit ton of money off this movie. But what were, what were the it's critics been, and audience scores? It made two and a half times its budget. And it still fucking failed. As it's gross. And they were talking about making a sequel, yeah. but the company let the, uh, the rights, rights expire? Uh, because yes. it failed. But it didn't, apparently. The it ratings plummeted. Two and a half times its so budget. They don't care about According ratings. To they the care, about, ratings, money. They care about money. That's why there's nine Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, it's going to be ten. And so many Shrek movies. <laughs> Um, uh, there are not enough Shrek movies, <laughs> okay. according to some corners of the internet. <laughs> according to the reviews, um, on a scale of one to ten, the internet has rated a 1.5. 1.5? With the top tags of corny, boring, and bad acting. There was one thing I wanted to point out in the whole fun facts section, is that, like, I'm pretty sure that the director and the producer and the filming distributor company, yeah. so they actually reached out to Toho to actually have them help out with the project. And Toho was like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, we can, you, we can help out. Just remember, this is what he looks like. So they gave him, <laughs> they gave him the blueprints <laughs> of what he looked like in the old films. And you know what America did? The they gave up. us fucking... Iguana Don, <laughs> Amona Dragon, Johnny Bravo Cat, looking ass. They gave Lizard. us Catzilla Bravo. They gave us Lizard Face. And you know what Toho did? That, that's not what he. Not, they, that, they turned around and made Godzilla 2000 instead. Yeah. yeah they, they, they saw the plan and they were like, uh, we, I, I think you guys got this here. You can make whatever you want. Turn around. You don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know. They have they have no idea. Is this what Godzilla looks like? It's like, nah, we'll take a T Rex. <laughs> It's like, it's and if you actually, okay, arms if are you've longer, seen, if you've seen, seen uh, square. if you've seen Godzilla <laughs> Wars, if you look at the size difference between the Japan Godzilla and this Godzilla, which is called Zilla in Godzilla Wars, Zilla is so fucking tiny. Yeah. He, he like, gets one-shotted and then atomic breath and he's done! Exactly. The atomic breath, which is essentially... What, like gas fumes? Because the only time it catches fire or does anything is when there's an explosion while it's screaming. And that only happened twice in the yeah, movie. Yeah, it happened twice in the movie, and obviously it just kind of looks like napalm. Okay, what about the gods on the screams? I feel like they're what in them. The oh, no. It was no. so bad. They yeah. 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 They, it was they, so bad. They got the sound effect, and it, they did it. the sound effect, what, like once in the first hour of and the it, movie. It was like they took the original Godzilla, it just cut it up into pieces, put a fucking Velociraptor in there, and a fucking, I don't know, let's let's put a, what, a sea lion. Oh, oh, threw so that together, and there was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> they had to show exactly how wacky the New York <laughs> subsystem is. So what do you put on the subway that's just too wacky for words? 
obviously just a guy carrying a, a goldfish. <laughs> well, now you might be thinking, oh, he's, he's he just went to the pet shop. He's carrying a goldfish in a plastic no. bag. No, it's a no, bowl. sir. No, sir. That is an entire ass fish bowl. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I just say on a real note, when I said that the the part where they go to Madison Square Garden all the way to the ending is the only part of the movie that I actually remember. It's probably because it's the only part of the movie I remember when I was a kid that I actually was semi enjoying. Yeah, it's because there's actually something going on. Yeah, you know, that's about it's all still I bad, and then, and then but the, it's when, still stupid fun to watch. When you first see the foot, like that one mm. scene. Oh, that, at the very that, beginning. That's yeah, that. Yeah, at the end is all I remember. <laughs> look at the camera. Oh, say that. Okay. Hang on. I wish you look could, at the camera right now. You, you that. need like to this. zoom while you're editing this. Zoom directly <laughs> on his face. <laughs> Now say it to the camera. If it wasn't for Godzilla 98, there would be no aliens. <laughs> aliens came out in 1982! <laughs> yes, but you see, the timeline was broken because this movie was so good. <laughs> Rage aside from this we motherfucker. Just broke the mic. <laughs> And the fact that this movie is so fucking boring. Rating. <laughs> I. <clears throat> Sorry. For all the problems this movie no, has, and through all the fucking jokes we went through in this movie, and for how boring it is, and for how long it is, minus the little rage fit I had out there, and mm -hmm. fucking but, 20 minutes, because yeah. it's two hours, mm -hmm. this, it's not, honestly, on a real note, it's not the worst film I've seen. It's one of, it's one of the it's worst, fantastic. but it's not the worst. It's not fantastic. <laughs> I will not give it a six out of ten. It oh, does not seven. deserve the six out of ten. No, Jason goes to hell. Solid nine and a half. I can feel it. It's no. coming. Tell you what. Solid Tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll Out of a thousand. <laughs> I can agree with you rating it at 9.2. Oh, fun fact. The black corner and Jason goes to hell in this movie. He is? Yeah. He's a general. Oh. Uh, One of the many generals in this movie. And at the very end, Dylan goes, Hey, look, it's Jason! <laughs> I, honestly, I'm going to go with a four and a half. Because that's the number I'm sticking in my head. I don't hate this movie. I am bored of this movie. They tried to Godzilla on this movie, even though they were like, Hey, you want to push some fucking Jurassic Park thing? You know, Jurassic Park was such a great damn you. Know? Maybe Godzilla can do the same thing. I'm Godzilla. Murr. I noticed something watching this movie for the first time since 2004. 90% of this movie, Godzilla acts like a goddamn cat who mm -hmm. just met humans. Yep, yep. Yep. He literally was acting like a cat like 90% of the time, which makes us wonder if they put a fucking mocap suit on the cat. Yep. And just ran around a fucking the fucking studio chasing the cat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Little white balls and everything. Yeah. Because if you if there was the one scene where he like gets behind the building and bursts out the building and smacks the fucking a helicopter, literally a cat was like yeah like wait those it's like he did the same spot as a cat. Any more final thoughts before we have to go into this next godforsaken fucking movie? Would you give me a rating? Did you? I hadn't given mine yet. For a jumbo lizard movie, I'm gonna go for like a... For childhood nostalgia, like a... Like a four. Like a... Like a four, which is not it's, a four. It's, it's, like a four. it's very similar to a four, but it's just different enough. Yeah, yeah. The, the reason is... This was my first Godzilla movie, and it was the first movie I watched, like, where the world was matching it. So I was, like, watching it in a living room while it was raining and dark, watching a sad rain and dark movie. <laughs> parts of it, uh, parts of the acting, I think, aren't the worst acting that I've ever seen. Parts of it. Parts of it. Most of it's really god-awful. That's a lot of fish. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of fish. <laughs> Parts, <laughs> parts of the CGI, like the bits that were in the trailer in 1998, like parts of the CGI oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. are all right. Yeah. But like the, the Chroma King, the, the green screen work uh, is just is just terrible. So I, I love it, Matthew Broderick, but, but some of his dialogue in this movie is just heinous. Do I need to say the line again? <laughs> That's a lot of fish! I think... That I lean more towards uh, a very um, middle of the road rating for this movie. I don't know that it's quite better than average. Actually, you know, I think it is a little bit better than average because I've seen some real sh stinkers out there. But like maybe maybe a five and a half, like just under under the six, 
so that them. so that Dylan can maintain <laughs> his his highest rating because he has the nostalgia for the film. <laughs> it's not the worst movie I've ever seen. It's very boring. <laughs> um, and Up to the last thirty minutes. Last and even that's still part. kind of boring. It's the best part of the movie, you know, it's still it was kind of like... Eh. A little bit of fire. There's way too much of the human stuff. So yeah, five, five and a half. So I will say that before going into this review, I know that me and Stone sat there and we fucking, like, demolished... Yeah, into, we, we demolished the film, yeah. uh, this film, and we demolished into Krieger over here because we were like, dude, this movie's so fucking bad, so fucking bad. But, but then you in it our defense, we haven't seen it since we were a like, kid. I haven't seen it since 2004. I'm pretty sure I saw this in theaters. I in saw 1998? It, I saw it in a fucking college room in a summer class I was taking when I was fucking eight years old. And I was still bored of the movie back then. Mm. <laughs> I was just again, again, again. I still, I still am not a fan of this movie. I... It's, but I don't hate it. Don't hate it as much as you thought you would leading into it. It's like in the ba 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 It's just a couple millimeters it's of just, difference. It's just, I mean, my main problem, okay, like, yeah, I bitched about the CGI and the acting and everything. My main problem with it is just, it's so fucking boring! There are scenes that go on way, That's my way problem. too long. And they cut out at least 30 minutes worth of film time. That's why the redhead was missing throughout the halfway through the film. Oh, she had more scenes filmed yeah, into it. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, they made it, they made it longer? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Could you Boy. imagine a so, like, three like hour I said, cut? Like, I mean, if, yeah, why if this movie, the first, if they yeah. cut out, like, if they, I mean, I could probably, like, download this entire movie onto my laptop, cut out a bunch of the fucking scenes into it, into, like, maybe an hour and a half long film, mm -hmm. and it'd still be a bad movie, but it would yeah. not be boring. That's just, that's my main problem with this movie. It's very boring. And long. Speaking of it's long. very long. Speaking of long, so is this review. Yeah, so <laughs> time to wrap it up. On that note, we are going to carry into our next review. <laughs> the greatest movie of all time. I thought you said that about this one. The sequel to the greatest movie of all time. <laughs> the sequel. The new greatest movie of all time. Where where instead of giant lizard, it said me turkey. Krieger. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. Krieger. Oh I have an empty mixed drink here, and I used a butter knife to stir it up. It may be a butter knife, but I can still stab you with it right now. Speaking of too long... <laughs> Enjoy our re-review of the most hated film I hate of all time. And we'll just end it at that. We'll just end it at that. And... <laughs> <laughs>